when we do intermittent fasting, we eat more at each meal, so we'll end up eating the same amount as in the standard diet. We have to eat every 3 hours. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. In this video, we'll find out if these myths are true or false. But one thing is true. Nutrition is a breeding ground for myth. And in weight loss, we have also many diets, methods and products that help those who sell it to make money, but are not always helpful for those who want to lose weight. If you didn't see my video, why your mind won't let you lose weight, I recommend you to see it also. Today, when we want to lose weight, we came across two different concepts, the intermittent fasting and the standard weight loss diet. The standard weight loss diet is a calorie restricted diet. People eat between 5 to 6 meals a day in small amounts and is often a low-fat diet. Those who do intermittent fasting eat much less, between 2 to 3 meals a day, without fat restrictions, and ad libitum, which means in Latin, you can eat until you feel is enough. Which one is better for losing weight? We'll find out in this video, and we'll see also if the myths I spoke in the beginning are true or false. Let's start with the three similarities. Intermittent fasting and calorie-restricted diet help to lose weight. Both delay age-related disease and both have anti-aging effects on our genes. In short, eating less or fasting help us to live longer with better health. Now, let's check the differences. Intermittent fasting increases basal metabolism, that is, energy expenditure at rest, without doing anything, which means that we lose weight eating the same amount. It's like the engine idle high when in park. The calorie-restricted diet decreases basal metabolism and as a result we can gain more weight eating the same. Who has gone on weight loss diets and has complained about it? Leave your comment in the section below. Both are adaptive mechanisms. Fasting increases metabolism so we have more energy to look for food. Restriction diets lower energy because it turns on the energy-saving mode and that's why we become more lethargic. Intermittent fasting decreases your appetite. When you are adapted to fasting, you are not hungry except at the times you usually eat. Biological clock tells us what time you usually eat. In fact, the feeling of appetite and satiety improves, helping to control calorie intake. The caloric restricted diet increases appetite over time. It gets harder every week to control the permanent feeling of hunger. Resistance to temptation is harder in the world we live, with constant harassment on TV, internet and stars. Living constantly with appetite is not natural. It takes us back to ancestor memories of hunger. The mind, in fear of not getting all the calories and micronutrients it needs, will use every argument to convince us to give up. Contrary to what many believe, doing intermittent fasting doesn't make you hungry, except for those who don't know how to do it and jump in without any preparation. The current diet is anti-fasting. In another video, I will explain you how to prepare your body and mind for fasting, how to do sports while fasting and how to eat in an intermittent fasting diet. But, as I was saying, Intermittent fasting doesn't make you feel hungry, it gives you peace. I even do three days of fasting in a row and I just feel immense peace. And occasionally the body saying, hmm, would feel good to eat something now at the times I usually do my meals. Calorie restricted diet increases appetite and hunger. We are in a constant state of hunger that creates immense stress. Stress is the fear of not surviving. We live in fear, in a vital fear, and that's why when we fail, we're going to fail big. Thousands of years ago, we could stay several days without eating. Therefore, our mind cuts the appetite and hunger and increases the cognitive functions and metabolism, 
so we have more chances of survival. It's another adaptive mechanism. Intermittent fasting generates well-being and visceral happiness, which is a definition I use to describe the happiness that seems to come from the belly. The calorie-restricted diet can lead to apathy and irritability. It's hard to stay focused, be patient and have motivation when we are hungry, isn't it? Intermittent fasting increases metabolism. We feel lighter, faster and more energetic. We have less need for stimulants. The calorie-restricted diet slows down metabolism and we go into a saving mode we become more lethargic. Often, when I'm working, I avoid eating. I feel like if I eat, my mind works slower. Sometimes I can stay all day without eating because I know that my brain works better and makes less mistakes. But I not advise you to do so if you're not used to fasting or if you do a lot of physical work. But in this case, I recommend you to eat more fat or low glycemic load food to not disturb your brain energy management system. Intermittent fasting is easy to incorporate as a lifestyle and therefore to lose weight. The calorie-restricted diet tends to cause the accordion or yo-yo effect. When we can't take it anymore, we eat a lot, quickly gain weight. Then we can strength again, we lose weight until the mind sabotage again. Intermittent fasting helps us to maintain the right weight. It has a modulating effect. Usually, we lose weight until we reach the right weight. If we lose too much, probably we need to change the type of physical activity we do or consider to eating more uh, good starch. But often, what our eyes want to see is a result of the social media influence and not what actually is better or good for us. In conclusion, intermittent fasting seems to be the most natural and effective way to lose and maintain weight. But in the end, the best method will be the one that works for you. And that's it. Now, let's go and boost those myths. I already answered to this one during the video, most of the times it doesn't happen. Actually, intermittent fasting improves satiation. If we feed on tree bark, leaves and fruits like gorillas, then yes. But with the current diet rich in sugar and flour, we all end up looking like whales and walruses. It may work if your meals are small and low in calories, otherwise, no. The most important meal is the one you eat with real hunger and is rich in real food, like vegetables, eggs, fish or meat. If you have experience doing intermittent fasting and calorie-restricted diet, Share your experience with us in the comments below. That might help others. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for your time. See you in the next video.